Well, you should know this by now, and if you don't, be aware. The Internal Revenue Service stepping up their game ever since the end of COVID relief programs. That's right, issuing millions, millions of pay-up notices this year alone, and we haven't even made it halfway through the year, as you know. Many people are struggling with the cost of living, let alone having the IRS breathing down their necks, asking for more money to fuel Joe Biden's and the left's insane charities to other nations and everything else under the sun, weird pet projects, and so much more. For those people struggling, some ways can help their situation. Here with me now to discuss is the Vice President of Tax Network USA, Joshua Hanna. Josh, good to have you here. And look, uh, the IRS is getting more aggressive every day. What do we got? 80,000 new agents, something like that, more on the way. Uh, they all say you have to pay your fair share. Well, uh, this is hurting people. What actions is the IRS focused on at this time and in which individuals and entities are really uh, in the crosshairs right now? They're looking to levy bank accounts. They're looking to seize property, wow. uh, garnish wages, uh, take your, your retirement. Um, they can do that. They can take your retirement. Uh, and, and they can even garnish your Social Security. Um, they're doing anything they can to build revenue because they need it. They need it. Uh, they were funded, uh, you know, billions of dollars. Um, and they're, they're, they're anticipating that they can collect uh, $6 for every $1 invested with the IRS. That's a lot of money. Yeah, it certainly is. All right, so what was, you go to your mailbox. You open it up, and here's one of these uh, nasty grams from the IRS. They're not going to call you on the phone, by the way, folks. Generally never going to call you on the phone, but they are going to send you letters. So you get the nasty gram in the mailbox. What should somebody do if they've got a pay-up letter from the IRS? Hey, here's, you owe us $1,000, $10,000, $1,000,000, $1, whatever it may be. What's the, what's the first step? The first step is getting on the phone with a tax professional and not the IRS, okay? The IRS is not your friend. They're not looking to to, to make you a deal uh, uh, directly. In fact, uh, they're looking to take advantage of you uh, and charge you ex extremely high interest and penalties. They even give you a failure to pay penalty when you're paying on time when you make these installment plans. It's, it's ridiculous. What we do is we get uh, them on the line immediately. We don't wait on hold but longer than two minutes. Uh, and we put them on notice that we're representing you, uh, the taxpayer. Uh, and then from there, there's a process and steps that we take uh, to ensure that, that, that they don't uh, collect information that they're not entitled to, uh, to make sure that uh, you pay as little as possible, the least amount uh, towards your back taxes. And that's the goal, not just get people out of harm's way, but get them out of harm's way and save some of their hard-earned money, right? That's the big point. Exactly. So when you get these letters, uh, you don't want to wait for your paperwork. Uh, is, and, and you don't want to, because that's likely the reason why you're in trouble. So you don't want to uh, stall out any of this process. You want to get on the phone with us. Uh, you know, we have forensic accountants, we have tax attorneys, CPAs, we have everybody equipped uh, for, for any type of tax matter. So we'll really understand your case, even if you don't have the paperwork, uh, and we'll put the plan in place to get you protected. And once we get you protected, then we can, you know, uh, really unwind the collections process and start, uh, you know, start the resolution process to get you to a settlement. All right, well, let's talk about that. How about a couple of uh, cases you've handled? Give us an example of a successful case uh, that's come across your desk in the past. One of my favorite cases that we worked on was uh, a client in California. Uh, her, her husband had passed uh, and left a monster tax bill, something like $700,000 in tax bills. Uh, to the IRS. Uh, she was unaware of it. You know, she, she was a stay at home mother, uh, you know, her whole life, uh, you know, since being married to him. Uh, and this really uh, fell on her like a ton of bricks. Uh, she was, she wasn't uh, in great health. So she was worried that if she passed this, this uh, would, this tax burden would fall on her children uh, and they would take Caesar home. They were looking to Caesar property and any assets that she had. Uh, we were able to get this settled for about a 95% reduction. Uh, and they were really, really happy uh, with it. And we used that case law from the IRS to settle her state tax bill as well. And she also got an offer and compromise settlement with the state. Uh, so she saved a ton of money. The, the children were really, really happy um, that they didn't you know, lose their inheritance. Yeah, I, I would say that would make the children really happy. Listen, another question for you. 
what about what about a, a situation where the client's financial circumstances change altogether during the resolution process? From the time you get the nasty gram to the time uh, that you're trying to get resolution, something changes dramatically. I'm sure that happens. What do you do about it? It happens a lot, you know, um, but that's what we're here for. You know, if if the biggest problem that we see is when it changes and the client doesn't have a tax professional to relay that information and then they fall, they get booted out of the program or, um, you know, they, they the IRS doesn't accept certain documents because they have other conflicting documents. So really what, ha what happens is before we submit the resolution, we got to get on the phone with the client. We go through all the discovery uh, and anything, if anything is to change, we make the proper adjustment adjustments and, uh, uh, you know, update the documents and submit to the IRS. All right. Uh, anybody listening right now that wants to know more, they're saying, look, you know, I didn't pay my taxes. This happened. I got the nasty grant, whatever it is. And they think they need to talk to a tax professional. What do they do right now? They give a call to 1-800-546-1000. That's 1-800-546-1000. Uh, if they don't have time to speak right now, uh, they can go to TNUSA.com uh, and just fill out a, a quick questionnaire and set an appointment with us. The consultation is absolutely free. Um, uh, you're, 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 you're never going to get that uh, with, I mean, very rarely are you going to get that with a competent firm, uh, you know, a small, a small firm in your area. We're a mid-sized firm. We have plenty of staff uh, to take your calls. So we offer an, a, a free consultation uh, to set a strategy. Um, so, you know, that's the, one of the perks, you know, if it's to see if this is a good fit for you, it's no risk to you at all. There you go. 800-546-1000, 800-546-1000, Joshua Hanna, also TNUSA.com. Joshua Hanna, thank you for being here today. And, and to the people that are paying attention, don't let this hang over your head. Joshua, have a great weekend. You too. Thank you.